So you've had a conversation with a prospect and you've told them the price and they've told you it's, it's too much. I can't afford this. What do you do? Let me show you. Hey guys, what's going on? Gabrielle Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. We help you get clients if you're a health professional and scale your business online. And one of the things that we spend a lot of time with our clients on is learning how to have a selling conversation, which is really just a coaching conversation that gets to the truth. And if there's a mutual fit and they want your help, you introduce your, you know, your, your solution. There's no high pressure tactics, none of that nonsense. So obviously one of the most, one of the most common objections you will deal with is uh, it's too expensive, can't afford it. Now, I, I don't wanna go down the pathway of the objection script here. I wanna, I wanna give you the bigger, the bigger picture here because you can certainly, like the, the financial side of things is never the real issue. The, the biggest objection always is, I don't think this is gonna work, okay? Because if they did, no amount of money would make, uh, would be too expensive, okay? In, in all honesty. So let's say, like I don't, I don't recommend disclosing price up front, like before the call, because they have no context for how you can help them. That would be like getting a bit of a ding in your car, calling up the repair shop and being like, I got a ding in my side door. How much is it going to cost? And they're like, I don't know. We haven't even seen the damage. How can I give you an estimate? So it's the same idea here. It's like, person's like, how much does it cost to work with you? The answer should be, I don't know, because I don't even know if I can help you. And if I can, I don't even know what the situation is. So why don't we just jump on the phone? have a quick conversation to see where you're at. And once we have established that there is an opportunity to help you, and we've come to terms with a good plan we feel good about, then we can talk about what that investment would look like. Fair enough? Cool. Some people will just be like, well, listen, like let's just save each other the time and just give me a rough ballpark. Because realistically, like you're not gonna have 10 different price points. Like you're gonna have one core program with one price Right? So theoretically, like you could tell everyone what the price is up front, but again, they have no, they have no context. Because if I were to say to you, is $5,000 a lot of money? You might say yes. You might say no. So why would you say yes? Why, why do you think $5,000 is a lot of money? Well, it's all about relativity. It's all about what you're comparing that to. So is $5,000 a lot of money for this pen? Probably, I think so. Is $5,000 a lot of money for a house? No way, you'd have people tripping over each other to buy that. What's the difference? The difference is in the inherent value they think they're gonna get from the purchase. No one's gonna be tripping over a pen for $5,000. But you put up a house in a, in a lucrative market for $5,000, that's a nice house, and people will kill each, over for, kill each other for that. It's the same amount of money, it's the difference is what they're getting for the money, right? So when you tell someone, if someone's like, well, what's your price? And you're like, oh, it's 5,000 bucks. They have no context. They're like, oh, that's too much money. It's like, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's 5,000. I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you what you're getting here. Okay. So number one, when people ask you for money, the, the price right up front, usually not a good client, right? They're going to be a pain in the ass. I don't have money type of client. And they're the worst people to work with. Okay. So you can just be like, I'm just going to delete this conversation and move on. If you're in like email or chat having this. But you know, if you are gonna present the price and they're like, well, 5,000 is too much, it's like, hold on, hold on, like, don't present the price by itself, present it in the context, right? So $5,000, would that be worth it to you if you never had to deal with weight ever again? Now we've presented some context. So assuming you're helping people with weight loss, okay? One sec, I gotta let my dog in, friggin' annoying. In and out, in and out. How much would it be worth it to not have to deal with this every single day? I don't know. I'm gonna put my dog down. No, it's terrible, terrible. She's 12, she's in good health. So when you're sharing price, you have to provide context. So if you help someone lose weight, as I mentioned, it's $5,000, would that be worth it to never have to deal with your weight issues ever again? Person's like, yes, but how do I know it's gonna work? Right, and that's the question. That's always the objection. How do I know, what if this doesn't work? Because if it does work, it's the cheapest investment they've ever made. The most expensive option is the one that doesn't work. That's what we all wanna know, right? Everyone wants the best. No one's willing to pay for the best. 
right? It's like no one types in third best restaurant in Toronto. Everyone's typing in best Mexican restaurant in Toronto, not mediocre restaurant in Toronto. Everyone wants the best. No one wants to pay for the best. Very few people want to pay for the best. The other thing that they type in is cheapest or free, right? Cheapest Mexican restaurant in Toronto. Do you want that type of client in your business? Uh, no way, man. Stay away like the plague, okay? So here's the deal. If someone tells you without any context that it's too expensive, do not get into explaining mode, okay? So again, context here. This is not at the end of the call, right? So if you're on a call, it's on 30, 45 minutes, you've explained your program, you've done the discovery, there's a mutual fit and you're like, it's 5K. They're like, okay, it's a bit more than I want. Like you can deal with that objection, okay? What I'm talking about is someone who's telling you even before you speak with them that they can't afford your services. Here's what you do. Okay. Bye. Done. Move on. Because why would you chase them? Why would you, why would you get into explain mode? If you're explaining, you're losing. It's $5,000, but you get all this cool stuff. Like, why are you juggling? Why are you trying to put on the circus act? You are Simon Cowell, and this is the American Idol. It's 5,000 bucks. Cool? That's too much money. Next, next contestant. It's 5,000 bucks. Too much money? Next. Let's see what you got. Come up. 5,000 bucks? Cool? All right, we can work with this. That's the position you have to take. You're interviewing people. You're not begging people to work with you. And if you have a pipeline of consistent leads coming in, if you have a perfect client pipeline, if you don't, you're missing out, it's a lot easier to say no because the only reason you'd be begging people to work with you is that you don't have enough confidence that more people are coming in. And if you just think numerically about this for a second, okay? I do this with my clients quite a bit. There are what, 350 million people in America? I'm just gonna use the States as an example. And uh, 60%, well, sadly, let's just... Let's keep it simple. Let's say 50% are obese, which is disgusting to think about. Like it's half the population's obese. Are we serious? So, uh, let, okay, let's not even use obese. Let's just say they're overweight to the point where it's now a health issue. So 350, 175 million Americans are overweight. Okay, and that's, it's, 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 a, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Let's say that you're only working with women. Okay, so let's just say that 175 divided by two, so let's just say 87 million of those people are women. 87 million women need to lose weight. Are they looking to lose weight? Who knows? So let's say that you're only looking to work with women between the ages of 40 and 60 who are actively looking to lose weight, and let's say that that's 0.01% of 87 million people. So 87 million people times 0.01% one percent is 87,000 women. So this is 80, these are 87,000 women who would be lined up kind of inquiring about your services and coaching. So if one of those women says no, you have 86,999,000 more lined up ready to go. Now, if you don't have those women lined up, then you need a, you need a better marketing system that is going to get them lined up. That's where marketing comes in. That's where a perfect client pipeline comes in. Because if, if everyone you're speaking with is like the be all and end all client, you're screwed, right? He or she who needs the sale the most loses. So if you're in a position where you're speaking with a prospect and you could care less if they work with you, you win. Because no one likes desperation. No one likes neediness. So if you have your pricing at $5,000 and the person's like, it's too expensive, be like, cool, awesome. Well, all the best. And in the meantime, here's some free resources that can help you. I actually wanna read something to you. One of our clients posted this in our uh, Facebook group and I should have pulled this up earlier, but I thought this is, this is actually where this came from, this idea, and I thought this is just beautiful. So let me just track this down. All right, so I'm not gonna mention her name, but she's amazing. So. Context. So this a client of ours actually had this conversation with the prospects. So on the call, the prospect is like, she thought it was gonna be too much. Okay. So then she sends our client an email, says, I'm happy to tell you that I'm now ready to work with you. I took your advice. When I told you it was too expensive to work with you, 
I know now that that was just an excuse that I was using to not allow myself to start another program and fail. I love what you said, not trying to justify why it's not too expensive. Hearing you say, I understand and suggest I look at my last month's expenses and see what I was spending money on that was detracting from my goals that could be towards working with you. I realized I could have bought your program in two months with the takeout, liquor, Starbucks, and all these diet supplements I was purchasing. Wow, what an eye opener. I'm ready. Where do I sign up to be insert, you know, the name of a program and save money in the process? Like, Talk about amazing, right? This is what happens when you do not budge on your pricing. It's this, can't afford it? Yes, you can, because you probably have one of these. And guess how much this bad boy cost? Minimum a thousand bucks. Do you have a TV? Yes, you do. Do you have a car? Most likely. Do you have clothing? Yes, you do. Have you ever been on an airplane? Have you been on a vacation? So what you're telling me is you're full of shit because you spent this money elsewhere. This is just not a priority for you. Let's call it what it is. So when it is a priority for you, please let me know. And in the meantime, here's some free resources to help you out. Cool? That's the energetic position you take with prospects who think that it's too expensive to work with you because they're not in the mindset of understanding that it's way more expensive not to work with you. And that's what they have to come to terms with. Let them suffer some more, okay? Let them come to terms with the fact that they can't keep suffering with this And as you continue adding value to them in your emails, your nurture, et cetera, when they are ready, they will know that you're the one to choose. And in the meantime, guess what's going to happen? All these other clients are going to come in. Don't chase. Let them come to you. Cool? If you like this, drop me a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.